And just so that we're super clear, the number one rule to being really fast at PowerPoint is that speed is on your keyboard. You really, really want to use your keyboard for just about anything and everything you do inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. And this is actually true across the entire Microsoft Office suite. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, whatever you're doing, the more you can accomplish on your keyboard, the more time you're going to save and the sooner you can get onto higher priority tasks. And just so that we're on the same page, this is a standard, just blank keyboard that I created. All right, your shortcut accelerators are the Alt, Control, and Shift keys. So these are what you're normally using to um, activate a shortcut. And then these orange keys, or blue keys, I'm sorry, or teal keys, are what you're, you combine them with to create your shortcuts. And this might look a little bit overwhelming, but right on screen here is about 60 shortcuts that represent that 80% of everything that you probably do on a daily basis inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And if you have a sharp eye, you might notice this one through zero. These are called your QAT guide shortcuts, which are some of the best shortcuts you can not only customize, you can rearrange them, you can set them up yourself. These are part of those disposable shortcuts that I'm gonna show you how to use later in this course. The one thing I do want to keep um, or point out, if you are a PowerPoint user and you're using a trackpad, or maybe you have an IBM and you've got a dot or a Dell and you've got a dot in the center of your, of your keyboard, the, you do not want to use these um, for working in PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, you definitely want to get a dedicated mouse. It can be a USB mouse. It can be one with a cord. It doesn't make a difference. Using either one of these is super slow. And I almost guarantee that if you get a dedicated mouse, even outside of just the shortcuts I'm about to show you, you are going to be 50% faster at everything that you do inside of PowerPoint simply because, if I come to the next slide, PowerPoint is a click and drag heavy program. So this would be a challenge for you if you don't believe me. Try to build a slide like this with shapes, text boxes, lines, line weights. All right, you're gonna have to click and drag to draw these on your slide anyway. And I almost guarantee you, you'll be able to do this 50% faster with a dedicated mouse. All right, if you're using that track pattern dot, you're gonna be super slow. Now as a heads up, this is what I call the PowerPoint challenge slide. You should or can build this in about 90 seconds with a combination of strategies, shortcuts, and techniques, all right? And have everything perfectly aligned, type all the text, etc. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this course, but we are gonna start to cover the shortcuts, which again, are gonna be the fastest way that I know to double your productivity, even if you aren't doing things the best or fastest way yet. And let me just quickly give you an example of a PowerPoint hack that you can immediately use that's gonna speed up everything you do with pictures, all right? 